your local weather authority forecast. Despite some passing clouds across the basin and despite another weather pattern change remaining rain free, we do notice though that camera shaking in the tall city. This is a live look. The city lights highlighting high altitude thin clouds. The camera shaking because of the strong winds, northerly winds with cooler weather. As a result, temperatures in the 30s and 40s for many and temperatures this afternoon will be lower compared to yesterday. We do notice clouds moving from northwest to southeast across the basin. Thicker clouds in the Trans-Pecos, but not producing any rain or any snow for that matter. The dry trend continues and speaking of how dry we have been, the latest update within the drought monitors does still show drought concerns for many in the basin. We're not seeing that in the heart of the basin in places like Balmoray, Saragossa, Fort Stockton, but the farther north and east you go in our viewing area, the worse the drought has been and we're seeing that with these tan colors in the southern parts of Hector Midland counties, that's moderate drought. Severe drought in the northern tier of the basin and where those red circles are, just northwest of Homs, and also in the Big Spring area, that's where we're seeing the second worst form of drought, extreme drought. Now, why does this matter? When you combine the dry weather, the dry soil conditions with the strong winds, that's how we get blowing dust, and that's also how we get an elevated risk of fire weather. That's what we saw yesterday. And this is something that we could still be seeing today, although I don't think it'll be quite as bad as yesterday. Temperatures, yeah, much lower compared to yesterday, as I mentioned. Struggling to reach 58 degrees this afternoon with a low temperature of 38. We're currently sitting at 39, feeling 31 because of the strong winds. But because of the thin cloud coverage, folks, our chances of rain snow will continue to be very low. Make sure you guys bundle up this morning. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s for many, feeling like below freezing for some because of the strong winds. Oh, will be breezy throughout the day today, but not quite as breezy as yesterday. And yeah, much cooler temperatures struggling to reach the mid to upper 50s in Andrews and Seminole. I think it'll be below the 60 degree mark today in the tall city, lower 60s in the Trans Pecos. And as you head farther to the south of Marfa and Alpine in the Rio Grande, temperatures likely reaching the low to mid 60s. Overnight, temperatures reaching the 20s and 30s for that low temperature, low to mid 20s in Andrews and Seminole. I think it'll actually be below the freezing mark eventually by tomorrow morning in the tall city. It's what's a process, what's called radiational cooling. We're going to be seeing still mostly clear skies light winds and drier weather allowing those temperatures to plummet in the 30s. Those winds, again, much calmer out there. Tracking your chances of rain, snow, again, very low across the basin. Make sure you guys have the sunglasses later today. High altitude, thin clouds will continue to move on through. So I think it'll be slightly clear skies compared to clouds for today. But yeah, even clear skies late tonight into tomorrow morning. I think it'll drop to right around the 30 degree mark. However, those winds switching a little bit more from the south southeast later tomorrow morning. They'll eventually provide a warm up. 58 today, 63 degrees tomorrow with sunny skies and not too breezy conditions. Keep it warmer this weekend with more clouds, but likely remaining rain free.